the media was kind but then it turned hostile and even though we had a town hall meeting which was packed to the rafters with standing room only mr nygaard was present his children were present his staff and we spoke and from that moment a friendship started and it had nothing to do with what the tribune suggests the spin that was put on my words was vicious and ugly and very untrue by saying this the suggestion is that the tribune actually is representing lewis bacon and has an intention to represent lewis bacon this whole affair which is the clifton matter as we all know rose up or started because of this comment or these comments that mr bacon made and so the Tribune has obviously taken a side, and the side is to support and maybe even hold brief for Mr. Lewis Bacon. I have made it very clear that I believe Mr. Bacon is a liar because I was there during the fight 14 years ago, and he was not there. He certainly did not lead me. So these things are so reprehensible that um, uh, I've been now instructed by my client, Mr. Farrakhan, to take steps toward legal remedy and recourse let me say how valuable media is to the freedom of the masses of the people against tyranny in any government and the reason i take umbrage at reading such an article because the mischief inherent in that article is first to say that I came to this island and rebuked Mr. Nygaard. Second, all those on this island who have benefited from Mr. Nygaard's uh, kindness. Now they saw me, they heard me, and for them to read an article and they would think that Minister Farrakhan came and this was put in his honor and this is what he did to Mr. Nygaard, then it puts me at odds with the people that I love and the people that I come to serve. And that is the mischief of a mischief maker using the media to divide and to put hatred between friends and brothers or to break up a friendship even before the friendship is formed. So that is my uh, displeasure with the writer. That is the interpretation that was designed to put me at odds with Mr. Nygaard and put me at odds with the very black people that I come here to teach. Are you all bought and paid for? Is there something that I said that is untrue that you can call me a liar to my face? And if you cannot condemn me as a liar, then you are afraid of the truth or somebody behind you is afraid of the truth. And as long as the media is afraid to tell the truth when a man is courageous enough to speak the truth even at the cost of my own life, then you are unfit to represent this estate if you are bought and paid for by somebody else. So either you become a free press that fights for truth and justice for the people or you should give it up. And if you are so much in love with going along to get along, then who are your editors that will take my words and then twist them and put your name on it? Mm -hmm. Tell them to come out front. I'm here now. Mm -hmm. Meet me. Yeah. yeah. And talk to me. Because I can defend anything I say to anybody from the head of government all the way down to the common man in the street. I am not a liar. Nor would I come to the Bahamas to disrespect a man who hosted me in his home.